All right, my friend, what's your goal of the game? Um, well, I'm a new player. Uh, started playing like a little over a month ago now. And cool. I guess just my hyper competitive aspect wants to just climb a bunch next season and see how far I can get. Cool. So you've enjoyed the game. Yep. Um, let's see. Uh, majority of it. I just run norms with my friends who have been playing for. Well, you haven't longer. been playing ranked yet. Um, it's going to be really hard to be competitive. I, if you're not. No, I play, I played some ranked. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's it's interesting because most of the games I play uh, are just like norms with my friends who are like plat, uh, even some of them like masters. And so I, I go to these games and get absolutely stomped. So like my ranked is like a nice little like cool down where I can go in and actually feel like a good player. <laughs> for a oh, bit. I see. Yeah, you're um, going to get destroyed when you're new at that level. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the, but then the problem that I've, I guess a big problem that I found is like when I go into these solo queue games, like I don't know anything about macro, right? Because... All these guys well, you don't know anything about anything yet yeah exactly exactly so so i go to these games and then it's like okay like you know i can fight my laner and i can out cs my laner but i can't convert that into anything um well let's do this so, yeah, um let's do at. let's get you into a game and we'll do kind of a skill assessment to see where you're at um you're still very new i just want you i, I kind of want to set the stage for you here uh with this game so you're brand spanking new to it, all right? Someone like me, I've been playing for uh, about 10 years-ish. Um, like off and on making content and climbing occasionally, shit like that. And what I tell people is like, all right, you're basically getting into what, what I would call the Everest of games, okay? This is the Everest. Like this is the hardest mountain mm -hmm. to climb in games. There's a couple reasons for this. The main one is, in my opinion, obviously, like, imagine playing poker and you don't know what the cards do. Uh, 160. So, yeah, it's about 160. Okay. Um, roughly. It might be a little bit more now because of the new champs. Uh, but the point is, so I said, imagine playing poker without knowing what the cards do. Imagine playing League without knowing what the cards do, which are the champions. There's 160 of them, and they all interact with each other differently. So you're already on the right track. You're sticking on Ari, right? Which is good. Because yep. if you like this champion, now you need to build a knowledge of what the other champions do simply by just playing your champion, right? Like, that's the mm -hmm. best way to start this game is to just play your champion and go, oh, that guy does what? Okay, cool, thanks. And then you just keep playing, right? Like, that's the best yeah. way to learn because until you can pilot your champion confidently around the map and, like, def de basically defeat these other random masked villains that you like bump into right the game doesn't actually make a lot of sense especially if you just jump around all the time you won't really catch up to anybody in, in a substantial time you just won't because okay. you need champion mastery is most coaches agree with me on this champion mastery is probably the most important thing in the game that's why a lot of your players that are like super high elo are just one tricks Right, they don't even necessarily... Right. Like, you put them on a different role in champ, they'll look like a moron. Right? Um, mm -hmm. But they're really, really, really fucking good at their champion, and they know how the game works within the context of their champion. It's like, okay, I get to early... I get through early game, I do this in the early game. I go to mid game, I do this in the mid game. I get to late game, I do this in the late game. I've got my champion identity. I know exactly what I'm trying to accomplish playing this champion in this situation. Right? And so that's what we're trying to do. Now, I say it's the Everest of games because you've got the skill element that you've got to uncover and unlock. Then you've got the mental element of, okay, my teammates suck and sometimes I'm going to lose even if I play like a god. That's why this is the Everest of games. Bans should always be Master Yi and Lo Elo, um, or like Garen or like Kane. Uh, shit like that should always be your go-to bans. Go for me. Go for yeah. Me, then. yeah. My uh my perm band thus far been has been Zed. Zed's the only one that I haven't like really figured out how to lane against yet. Um like, that yeah, one so that one's Silas, beatable. That one's very beatable. Are... They're not hard counters, mm -hmm. they're very beatable. Um because they're all melee. Yeah, that's it means what I found that you're, out, right? <laughs> yeah, it means they're that means that your spacing in lane isn't isn't up to snuff yet, which is completely expected because you don't know their distances or how they kill you yet. Right? Yeah. So that's what makes it tricky. <clears throat> Once you get it down though. Um, you can confidently just go into lane and start bullying these matchups. Even even uh, Yasuo, you could technically bully a little bit early on, as long as you know how to space uh, properly. Um, the, the issue is everybody dies to those champions because you have the harder job than they do. 
And by that, I mean you're the one that has to kite them and have to know what their abilities do. You almost have to know their kit better than they do sometimes to kite them because they they kind of they're very telegraphed and you can kind of get into their head of what they're going to do and then just preemptively yeah. like space them dodge their ability whatever it is but again they just have to run their champ at you you're the one that has to dodge shit right uh -huh. so that's why it's like it's it's easy to int into them and it totally makes sense that they would be a bit of a uh, mental block when you're new like i mean it tracks um now i see you're going teleport a lot i'm gonna be honest yeah. when you're new you should just be going ignite your laners are too bad. I think so. uh, yeah, always. You should just go ignite every game. Your laners are too bad for you so, to be going teleport. I, I used to run a lot of ignite actually, and then uh, what I found like in uh, well the game most of the norms that I play, uh, I run teleport a lot because uh, the map pressure that I get out of it tends don't, to be pretty no, you good. Don't even but wanna, I can definitely you don't, see like low you don't even want to talk like... about map pressure right now. Don't even talk about <laughs> map pressure. Use your yeah, open right. your sums real quick. Or your uh, runes? Uh, I mean, yeah, runes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would just swap at the bottom left. I would swap that to Ultimate Hunter and save it. Yeah. I had a feeling you were going to say that. And we should have MR. It's an Annie lane, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Now, since it's an Annie, you can basically start W and justify it because every time she goes to queue a minion to farm, you can run up and kind of like auto W a bonker on the head, right? If she's saving okay. her Q for you, then obviously... That might not work, right? But you're gonna kind of feel out like what it is she's going for with her uh, her trading patterns. If she's gonna try to kill you, if she's just gonna try to farm. Um, if she's gonna try to kill you every time you go to farm or every time you go to trade, then maybe we have to just be respectful and wait until we hit a good charm or something for good damage. But generally speaking, these newer players, they're gonna use their Q every time a minion's low, and then you can just kind of exploit that and you know walk up and auto W. This looks like solo okay. Q already. Oh, never mind. I love that they changed the remake timer to 1.30. <laughs> That's a huge change. It feels uh, like it makes I'm people leave base. The remake timer, you know what remake is? No. If they don't move at 1.30, you can remake the game. If you type oh. slash remake, yeah. And you won't lose anything. They just added that. Ooh, Vayne, I don't okay. know about this, buddy. All right, so let's focus on getting ahead in lane. I don't want to look at this too long. All right. Shorter clicks and faster clicks. You, you're going to fake it till you make it. Shorter clicks is in closer to your champion, and you're going to move forward and back. Yeah, there you go. Click faster like you're not uh. a thousand years old. There you go. Because I have you as a brand new player. I can build you the, the right habits, right? Just yep. last hit. Don't push. Just, just at the very last second. What you're doing is you're giving her more XP by pushing. If you would just last hit... Uh, you see how the minions are pushing forward? That means that your minions yep. aren't dying, right? If you would just last hit, you might mm -hmm. be able to swing down once you get E here. Yeah, I would rotate down and E her in the face. Yep, there you go. Nice try. Oh, it's all good. 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 Now just go to last hitting. Now, you can walk up every time your W's up in trade. So you walk at her and auto W. Try to not tank the Q for free, though. Like when she's walking at mm -hmm. you, she's telegraphing that she's going to Q you. Just back up. Right, and she won't be able to do it. Now I would, I would start trying to push. That's all right. I would just hard shove now though, so that I get my back off. So just keep auto, auto, auto. Yep. And as soon as you get Q, you're gonna jam the wave and reset. Okay. Now spam your Q on the wave. Yeah. Don't worry. She can't all in you. She she can't do anything. Just push. She she literally cannot kill you here. Just push. You're fine. There's no way she can. She doesn't have the damage. You have the level lead. Now just take a reset right now. Press B. Sometimes I drop oh, a lane here. ward here. Uh, you could just stay if you want to poke a bit. Yeah, let's poke a bit. Annie's really low, so... Good. This is really good. Oh, this nocturne. is good. Yeah, this is good. Use your pot and let's let's uh, push. Let's push hard. Annie's super low. Nocturne's super low. So use your Q, yeah. And use those auto Ws. Auto W, like get this under. You want to get her under tower where she's easier to hit. Because right now oh, you just... Oh, you mean W on the wave. I yeah, see yeah, right yeah. yeah. Get... Now walk up. Walk up and try to land right. some damage. You know Nocturne's low as fuck. Now, if he yeah. comes for you again, he's going to come from below you. So you can just walk up river if you see him. Right? Yep. So now just push. You should kill on the wave. Like, you really want this guy. You want to... The only way you're going to be able to hit him is with an E. You understand? So you need to unlock this mm. wave so that you can actually bomb him with an E and kill him. So, like, right now, I'd look for an E. And then I would ignite him if I hit the E. 
There you go. Now leave. See? It's free kill. Now push the wave again. Nocturne, you know that Nocturne's low, and you know that you have enough mana to push, right? So start autoing and kite back. Auto, 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 kite back. As the minions get low, use your W, and the Dorn's Ring will give you mana back. Now you're going to get your Q. You're going to rank your Q, and you're just going to keep pushing. Hit the cannon. There's no point in hitting this. Hit the cannon. And then you Q it. See, that's a goofy push, because you could have used your Q to push everything. Now let's take a reset. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so if it's me i think i'd probably just go blasting one in boots i think it's good here yeah yeah let's go i don't think we'll have that many mana problems the mana for a little bit right yeah yeah Gosh. make sure your mana's up because i gave you no mana giving you nothing to work <laughs> yeah. with but the thing is is you can basically just crash the wave and reset if you want here like we don't have to interact with annie we just have to hit the farm uh, okay yeah like, there's no... Like, you've already got the kill. I tell people when they got the kill, you got a free ride to, to mid to, mid to late game. Right? Because you're ahead. Okay. So now yep. just focus on hitting your farm. Let the wave go under. No, no, no. No cues. Let it come to us. Oh. I see. Let it come to you. <clears throat> just last hit. When I'm saying let it come to you, really aim your last hit because you're just autoing because you see that minions are low. Watch the animations. Mm. Like, do it at the very last second. Yep. Now, what I would do is I'd crash the wave. You're about to hit six on this minion wave. So just get up there. Auto, auto, W, Q. Like, just get up there and crash it. And then we can roam. Use that W. Like, really, like, get this under, dude. This is your clock right now. You're on the clock. I want this wave under. Cue it. Like, I want this under and I want to roam. Now, I'd run right up river after clearing this. And you could have used your E there to finish the cannon. Because you were, like, desynced. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go right behind Teemo. Go behind the wave. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Behind the wave. Yeah. Okay. Well, now I kind of mm, want to just go this way, right? Yeah, I think what uh, I would do is wait in this bush and poke. You're not going to ult. You're just going to poke and run away. Yep. Good. That's good. I'll just go back to mid. Because you can't kill him. He's just too tanky, I think. You yeah. don't have ignite. Now, let's just shove the wave and just keep keep shoving and let's keep unlocking rooms, okay? If Nocturne ults you, you're simply just going to ult backwards. If you want to all in Annie, you can. You could actually RE here and, and go for her. Not anymore, though. Yeah, once the uh, wave's no. there, not anymore. Just shove. Yep. Yeah. You need to see those windows, though. If the wave's empty like that, there's nothing in our way, we can go. Now you don't want to because she's just going to ult you in the face, right? So I would rather just take the recall here. So let's back away and recall. I would have E'd that and ran away instead of autoing it. Uh, yeah. All right, press B. This just kind of kills your flow. Now, since Annie's really tough for us to kill safely, I'm just going to go Lucidity Boots. And I'm going to explain why. Get your Lucidity Boots. Let's get back out there. That's interesting, yeah. Right. Use your W to lane. Spam it. Your W, hover your W. Your W costs no mana. See that? 30 mana. It's nothing yep. in this game. Just spam yep. that shit. Get back to lane. Did it, oh, did they just increase it in the recent change that Ari got? Wasn't it 25? Eh, it might be slightly more, but... Wouldn't matter to me. All right, so that guy is on drag. So what I would do is I would all in the Sandy. I would R forward and go for it. Okay. Go. Don't hesitate. Just try it. Igniter. Okay, Wait. so... Oh, no. Your mistake. Your mistake. Everything was great, except you didn't ignite fast. Mm. So hold tab real quick. See what sum she has? She healed in the middle of that, right? So yeah. what that means is... Generally, when you're going for it all in, you just ignite right away. As just like a good rule. Just ignite. Mm -hmm. The reason why, when you're new, you're not going to be... No offense. You're not going to know where the fuck your lethal is at all. So just throw your ignite on their head so that you make sure that you reduce the healing that pretty much all champions get right now. Use your W. We're going to hard shove this lane. If you had ignited her right away, you would have gotten the kill. You didn't reduce any of her healing at all. So she heals during your all in fully. Right? But if you had ignited her, you would have reduced the healing by like 50%. And she would have never lived. <clears throat> so you don't have all here, so I would just go ward. Ward deeper than that next time. You have a long timing. And stop showing. There's nothing for you to do in mid. You're just wasting time. Just yeah. go to like... Go in upriver and put your pink in pixel brush or something. Now Nocturne's coming down there, so maybe... Mm, I should have had you put maybe it in that one. bush. In that bush. No, no, you can't pick Nocturne without Ignite. Let's go back to mid and just push. All right. You can't pick anybody without ult Ignite. It just won't happen. Unless your teammate's yeah. there. 
Good. Now, well, here's your problem. Here's your problem. She's yeah. she's running at you to straight line. The minute that you see her speed up, you W straight back to tower. Hold tab. There is no reason that that guy should ever be able to kill you because you also have tier two boots, right? So if you both right. match the spacing, she'll never hit you with the stun unless she flashes on you, mm. right? Then if she flashes, you flash. There, you probably should just be flashing away once you get that low. You better hope this okay. Belgath kills this guy because if he doesn't, we're kind of in trouble. Hmm. That's good. That's a good start. Oh, no, he W'd way too early. All right, let's just push. Let's push. He oh. fucked up. He fucked up. He needed to just auto instead of W'ing. Or we're just going to queue this whole thing. Yeah. Queue the whole wave, and then we're going to roam to top and get something done. All right, roam. Don't just don't just stand here. Click right to top. Get behind the Teemo. Come at him from an angle. A checkmate angle, not a pussy angle. There you go. You know Nocturne's bottom, right? Yep. So Some. if Teemo's off his tower when we get up here, right? Go, go, go. R. Just start right now. Get there. Nice. Good auto. That was a very good auto. Now just shove, 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 shove. Q. Auto. This whole time. You know where Nocturne is, right? You know he's bottom. Push. Yeah. Come on. That wave's not under. What? Oh, keep pushing. All yeah, right. get the wave under. Get the wave under. Take a plate or something. True. All right. Now go to the bush. Or actually just back. You're facing a Teemo. Just back. When you're facing a Teemo, you don't want to check bushes with, with uh, your body because you could just bump into shrooms a bunch and yeah. delay your back. Yeah, Mana Crystal Book. Let's go. Let's spam your W. Come on. Oh, we get this back. Okay, so that's a weird TP. I would. So this is. A, yeah, you got to play off it, though. So what you'll do is you'll just go to top and receive top wave for now. Um, unless she goes to top. Uh, okay, well. She's gone top. Eh, it's not <laughs> she that wanted, bad. She wanted the tax, you it's know? <laughs> the, yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's You would have probably lost a chunk of it anyways. Now let's shove mid. Mm -mm, just shove mid. Shove mid first. Okay. You have no ult. You're just wandering there because they are there. Just push. Yeah. Now back up so you don't telegraph where you're going and then go to river to your team. Yeah. You don't want to do anything aggressive. You just want to poke and run. You have no ult. Just very delicate. Very delicate. Yeah. Just chill. All right, we'll go back to mid and we'll shove the next wave. You'll have ult in 20. Oh, this is actually really good for you. You want to go up there and shove now. Nocturne can ult us. Be ready to kind of kite that out. I don't think he's confident enough to do that, though. Once he misses his Q, he's pretty easy to beat. Go and shove. Get up in his face and like Q. There you go. I want to get like, I want to get this wave under. Because when he leaves, he's going to try to kill your team. Careful oh, with that. that Careful it. with that charm yeah. <laughs> in front of Nocturne. No, 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 no. Careful with that in oh, front of Nocturne. Yeah. Because if I saw that, if I was Nocturne, I would have ulted you right there. You're coming back and, yep. Yeah. Now, he doesn't... If you get engaged on, we might have to just R away. Keep running up river for now. You have plenty of time. Yeah, yeah you're good. Hit the plant first. I'm R away. Uh, I would have walked. Oh, I should have. I should have just hit the plant, yeah. You could have kept it, yeah. Go for a quick pick on the team. Eh, never mind. You'd probably bait the... Maybe not. Ignite, ignite, and run. You got it. You got a flash. You got a flash. Uh, oh, bad. That was a good idea. That's actually a really good idea if you flash out of the Nocturne. Oh, your Cassiopeia just won. I don't know how. <laughs> Cassiopeia and Low Elo getting double kills at top lane is the weirdest shit I've ever seen in my life. So they're coming straight for it. Too. Yeah, she she's dead. She's dead. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> she died. <in> <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's why nice. I told you about going uh, into bushes randomly. Because if yep. you go into bushes versus Teemo when you're low, you almost always die. This is almost almost always a shroom there. Good luck, Vayne. Oh, he's yeah. fucked. Yeah, he's fucked. We'll, we'll push mid and maybe go down there. After this fight's over, that was, that was Triss Flash, right? Right, right. Oh, I think it was. A, I, I don't know if it was a flash, but or I know was it was a jump. flash. Uh, and now I'd run to bottom. We can't hit tower, right? Why are we standing here? Just go. Yep. This is how you need to play when you're, you know, you don't have good lethal on somebody. Easy lethal. Just mm. roam. I would go behind tower and set up in the bush. Uh uh. I'd go around and set up in the bush and go for a quick pick. Your Ari. Guy's low as fuck. He's probably going to stay. Put a ward in. Is he there? I would R but hmm, this is kind of precise. You can go if you're no, your Leona's not there. All right, back to mid, back to mid. Plays dead. We're waiting too long. All right, yep. Just hit the plant. Careful oh, of this. Look, yeah, poke at him a bit. 
You have R if you need, so you're good. This is good. Soraka, 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 Soraka. You gotta kill Soraka. Soraka, not this guy. Soraka will heal him, yeah. Good, see? There's a very, very important distinction that needs to be made there. If you go for Soraka, flash out of the shit. It's a little sooner on the oh. flash. You gotta recognize when you're getting engaged on and be responsive. Mm-hmm. You're waiting for a large rod. All right, just yeah. keep cruising. Uh, it w looks like they're gonna fight. They're w shove mid. W shove mid. No, W shove mid. Right. Shove mid first, then drop in. Always a good rule of thumb. The faster you shove, the faster you can join. You got to do the dishes first. This has to be clean. Then you drop in and then help uh, poke and run. Because again, you guys don't win a five on five. All right, get ready. Sweet, There's the sweet. Nocturnal. Yeah, we're just gonna chill here on this bush and just play smart. Okay, quick pick. Ignite, ignite, ignite. Ah, uh -uh. you're not gonna get the kill, I don't think. R away from it. Don't let him auto you. Yeah. Now you need to ignite on picks. Like stop holding yeah. the ignite. Like just. You're going to kill just somebody quickly. As soon quickly. as I attack, just yes. drop it, right? Kill them. Like, you need to get these kills. Yep. You're letting champions that heal do what they do. Like, you're basically just letting, mm. like, Soraka, any, any, just any picks when you're new. I'm going to say it again. You're going for pick, just drop your fucking ignite. Stop holding it. Yeah. Because what you're going to do is you're going to misplay a shit ton when you could get easy, easy gold. Right, and it, right. It's, they get so much back if you don't ignite right away. You'll learn that you'll learn when you when you shouldn't use it as opposed to when you should. You know what I mean? You'd rather you'd rather mm -hmm. secure kills and go, oh, I didn't need a knight there, and learn that way than the other way. Little Timo Shroom. Yeah. We're gonna just shove just shove mid. We're gonna try to take this tower. 
You have ult, so I'm confidently hitting tower with the intent to ult backwards, is what I'm thinking. Don't group, though, near Annie. Yep. Oh, you don't even need to ult backwards. Good ignite. That's a good choice to try to counter it. Yep, that was fine. Obviously, he oh, got wait, out. I didn't need to do that. You didn't need to, but you at least ignited him and put counter pressure on him and made him sweat a bit. Because if you hadn't ignited him there, he would not have been very scared. Just E behind you. I just throw an E at him. I don't like that they're able to walk at oh, you. Trust like, is here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, never mind. She got him. Yeah, just clear. Just run and clear. He's just fucking... Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just dead. Kite back, though. Don't just stand here and tank it. Kite. Like, auto run. Auto run. The minute I get pinged by a guy who just, like, ints, I immediately mute everything. I mute their pings. I mute their chat. I mute uh, everything. Yeah. Who like, was that? That was Cassiopeia. Uh... All the shit next to... Yeah, just take it all off. Yep. Easy. Easy response. You can let them... You can let them have it. Like, you can let them do their thing. But when they do that, uh, yeah. that's when I just... I'm like okay you're and not realistically like if i try to save them there i just i'm you're dead, dead too the more fed right 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 that's exactly it it's like you you had no ult you had no play if you have a play maybe right maybe but you don't even have a play there careful you need to ward uh, it you can't face check I, yeah. but you can't face oh, check that's why <laughs> let's go back to mid yeah i'm just gonna clear this though yep you have your r to get away from nocturne use your w to in rotation there you go if Nocturne ults, you just get ready to ult backwards, okay? It's just on... Oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh! You've got to ult. Uh, when you oh. see this... When you see this... that She's telling you she beats you. She's jumping yeah. in and flashing forward and shit. Right, just ult. Right. It's a layering game. He uses his big yep. gap close. You use your big gap close. And they're clean. That's how you need to think. He can only do that. He can only do that like once, right? So right. if he's jumping in on you, you need to respond. Either you need to flash, you need to ult. Because you're walking up with the, to these people, you need to have it in your head like a reflex. Like a reflex. You need to think, if this guy goes on me, I'm ulting backwards. Uh-huh. He can jump on you again and you have no ult. Careful. He's very fed. Okay, he jumped away. So now you can go. You push up if you want. Because they're going to recall. You go for the pick on Annie if she backs arrogant. Yeah. Oh, let's push. Push the next wave. Get up there. Get up there. Go. go. They're backing right now. So you want to just... You want to tax them for that. Again, if people jump on you, be prepared to R backwards. Uh, I'd play a bush or around a corner or something. I don't like just standing and staring at people if you haven't noticed. It's useless. Yeah. You can go to top and catch the wave if you want. You can stay to mid if you want. These are both options. Okay, so we just wait until they face check and then go for the quick pick. Yep. Okay, she smartly figured this out, I guess. All right, let's get ready to quick pick Trist if we can. Okay, that's fine. Remember, you need an R4 and look for that Ignite. I can't see anything. Yeah, go for a quick R4 and pick this guy. Go pick somebody. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Everybody's low near you. Don't hesitate. Just try it. R away and Ignite. Hmm. Hmm. Q him. Q him. You outrange him. <laughs> Bro. Now push, just shove, just shove. They're not chasing, you can see it. They're going for Baron. Now you're going to sweep and you're going to go poke with your E and try to stop Baron. Sweep, so you don't step on a shroom. Use that plant, take that plant quick, 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 quick. Take it. Grab all the little fruits, quick, quick, quick. Now get your camera on Baron and get ready to go for a quick pick. No, you you got to go into the mouth of Baron. You're going to lose Baron okay. and you're not going to... Okay, you're fine. We're fine. Oh. Take a reset. I thought they were going to be faster than that. Press B. You don't have to walk anywhere. You just cleared all the vision. All right. Uh, what's my next buy? You think? Uh, versus this, I actually like that item there. Uh, the banshees here. Yeah, I think it's good here. Yeah. All right, use your W. Go. You need to be quicker with these picks. 
Your champion gets a reset when you are. So when someone's caught, right. R for it, go for it. Don't don't think this like, what if I fail shit when you're new? Just fucking try it, okay? Just okay. when they're close, say, I'm going to R and fling it. And if you hit the kill, great. That's in mid. That's 100% mid. Oh, no, it's on Baron. Wow, he's still Baron. Let's get to Baron and try to get the shutdown. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, this is just a R away. Uh oh. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Wow, big damage. Nice try by Vayne to heal us, but Tristan is just really fed. Once there was two dead, you see that concave coming. Don't R up yeah. river. Go back to where you R'd. Like at the beginning. Like go uh, here. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you should jump over the wall. It's better. Oh, yeah, yeah. Always okay. better. If you got a choice, if you're running and you could choose a wall to run or just like a straight line, always hop the wall because it's harder for right. people to actually damage you. And, f and they can't see you. Right. We go they to straight line. This, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless Belveth is just too too badass. There's no way Vayne kills. Cassiopeia, 1v9. Okay. Here comes the ult. Cassiopeia, what? Yeah. Noobs Unlucky. are so noob, dude. Noobs are noob. <laughs> how do you just lose? Like, how do you just lose with the fucking ult up? Blows my mind. All right, so. What do you think the takeaways are in the first game? Uh, stop being a pussy is uh <laughs> as you let's you know? let's let me let me frame it for you in a more pretty way okay because it is stop being a pussy but it's also you need to understand how league works okay league is a very selfish game all right this is what i tell people okay. it's a team game but it's extremely selfish all right you're in your your goal is to not be 99 percent of the idiots that play this game Right? You're trying to be the 1% mm -hmm. of the people that think about the game logically and without emotion. Okay? You need to understand a couple key details here. You learn by trying shit. To the dismay of your team. You get better at the game by controlling your agency. Okay? It's not your KDA that you're trying to protect. Right? It's your agency. Okay. So an example of agency would be, I'm going to go and and uh, I'm going to log on to NA, even though it's probably going to lock me out of my Korean account. I'm going to log on to NA right now, and I'm going to show you what I mean when I'm talking about agency real quick, okay? The more that you get your... The, basically, the more that you buy into what I'm telling you, the better this game gets for you, okay? Like, it, it just immediately gets better because your teammates... Your teammates are are sheep, right? They're not very smart people on average. That's why they're in low elo. You're in low elo too, right? You're brand new though, right? That's expected, okay? Yeah. If you want to climb beyond these people, these are like the most hard stuck people ever. This is like my TikTok comments, right? These are the most like brain damaged people ever. You have to understand that in order to climb beyond them, you have to apply fundamentals and you have to believe like, religiously you have to believe that what you're working on is going to pay you dividends in the long term so when your teammates are flaming you it could feel really bad when they're pinging you or when they want you to group all the time or when they want you to go for what they want you to go for like you have to understand that they're not playing under fundamentals they're playing under emotions right they want to see the pretty champions hit each other okay that's what they want they in their world they would rather you just sit in mid never roam and just battle each battle the Annie over and over again, right? Not go for plays, not really learn anything, and only fight when it's like every champion's just smashed into each other in the middle of the lane. Okay? There's no IQ here. Right? Yeah. So let's go over real quick. If I it can explain your agency like this, you've gotten a kill, right? I walked you into getting a kill. Now you're allowed to push the lane. The lane is pushed, right? You have options. You could go to bottom. Look at my screen. Oh, wait. You can't see my screen yet. Or yes, you can. Can you see my screen? No. <laughs> okay. Above the chat. You should be able to. Above the chat window. Uh, click oh, anywhere yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, a button. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. You've gotten a kill in mid, okay? This was your game. Yeah. Look at your farm. You're actually killing it right now. You have the most agency in the lobby right now. Maybe Tristan is close. Okay, but you pro you do because you have more levels. They have to split XP down here. Okay, 
Right. And you can roam. She Tristana can't really roam anywhere. Right? Not 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 really. Like she can, but it's really awkward. Yeah. So you've got agency now because you're able to just push. Look, you can just walk up to the wave, auto W, auto W, auto W. Now, why aren't we hitting tower? That's the first question, right? I don't explain it in the game. Hitting tower versus Annie is kind of shit. You could try to like hit her with an E and like poke her a bit if you wanted. But when you're new, it's best that you just don't linger in lane, get prio, and roam around. Learn, like fight, have fun. Just try shit. Yeah. Also, your champion doesn't scale incredibly well, so you kind of want to create win cons through like snowballing. It's more reliable to snowball by like roaming around than it is to try to hit somebody, bomb them under tower, or take plates. Like, it's risky because Annie could just ult you at any time yeah. and force your ult. She can't ult yeah, you also, yet. Also, like, R is not really someone to kill under tower that much unless, like, you know, it's... Well, like, you land a full free. combo. If I, you I land, take... if you land E, you know, EWQ once and then do it again, you probably will get the kill. But what I am saying is that once you're facing better opponents, this won't really be an option. It just won't. Right. Because what she'll do is she's going to stand here. Good luck. Yeah. Like, now, obviously... Yeah, <laughs> this you probably could land an E and like, get a really low and like if you're really fancy pants You could try to like outplay her ult or something, but bro That's just not the game like it's just not a reliable way to play the game Let's focus on what we you know what we've created here, which is you've got a kill you've got AP You've got prio free Teemo kill up here, right? He's pushing out look at the wave that wave pushes out. I don't know if you know if, how wave yeah. management works, but like that right yeah, there, yeah, that yeah. is fucking 10 minions, right? You never get 10 minions unless the wave got crashed and then it's bouncing. See that? Right. And it's bouncing out. So look at Cassiopeia's mana. This is what I'm seeing. And I'm not explaining it in game at the time because it, it, it just over, over complicates, right? But like here, yeah. look at her mana. She can't push this in, can she? She can't stop it, right? Mm -hmm. So you know now that this wave has to move to here. That's why I'm so confident in rotating. Okay. You you kill Teemo here, guess what happens? Every single minion from... Let me... Every single minion from here to there, right? That, that like, every blue minion, Teemo, if we kill him, he's going to lose all the way till it gets to tower. Right? Unless we push the wave forward, which I think that's what we wound up doing here. Yeah, um, we called it and pushed let's it. Let's see. I'm pretty sure. Oh, 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 oh. Nocturne showed up. Yes, we didn't get to do anything here. Which is fine, oh, though. yeah, yeah. That was last one. And then I I think I just charm and get some damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn. This is the correct yeah. play to just go back to lane. Because um, you could go for a quick Teemo pick if you want to be really fancy. But the thing is, is that, like, Teemo could just duck behind a minion. You don't have Ignite. It's... It's needlessly fancy, and it's just super risky. Like, it's not necessary. Yeah. You can just poke him and go back and catch him. Because, again, you crashed mid. Look, see? So you're good. See, so you come back to mid. We didn't lose anything, did we? Correct, yeah. That's how a good roam should be. We didn't lose shit. Okay. You push. Now I say get up there and shove again. Try to hit the whole wave with your Q. And really, like, auto the whole time. Like, get it under quick. And then I'm like, all right. We could back. We could roam. I just tell you to back. Look at the map. I don't see an easy play here, do you? Nope. I don't see an easy play here. And again, we have Annie, but she's six, right? So just take your recall. Look, we retained our agency. We're still in control of the game, okay? You have the kill, you have the farm, yep. you have the prio. We have everything going for us. We're good, life is great. Now, you come into mid and Annie's over pushing. I say you could definitely kill Annie here and I stand by that. Watch. So you jump in, yeah, and you test her. I say, go ahead, don't hesitate. You land the E, this is great. Ignite her here, right away. Yep. And don't go crazy. Don't You don't have to like go under tower crazy, right? Just use your, use your R one more time, like here. The R damage will move. Right. Just throw your ignite uh -huh. down, auto, R kind of close. And then maybe we get the kill, maybe we don't. But if we don't, guess what? We get to just freeze. We're good, we're chilling. You can just okay. chill, wait for your okay. ult again. Right here, when you die, this is, the, like, in terms of, like, mistakes and level of mistake, the, the biggest mistake you make is that you are, I think you, like, In are to tower. tower. Yes. If you yeah. just ignited her and are sideways, Annie might walk out. She might flash out. But again, 
You've taken her flash, you've taken her sums, and you take no damage, she's and like then you just... certainly dead, yeah. Right. Well, she's gonna recall, but the thing is, is she's fucked. Because you're gonna hold this wave right here, and you're just gonna last hit, and you're gonna wait this yeah. cooldown. You see this ult? You're just gonna wait it up. You're just gonna wait. Are you gonna wait for your I ignite? I think this gets worse here, too, in a second, because I'm pretty sure I used my last R charge. Like, my uh, my mouse was still under tower, but I meant to R backwards out of tower range. Oh, no, you I used... You, oh, I oh, see. Oh, no, no, I got stunned here. I got stunned here. You didn't have an oh, R anyways, safe. though. You were out. Oh, I thought I had one more. That's okay, why whatever. That's why the last R is so tragic, because, again, if you just ignited yeah. her and then R'd sideways and autoed, good chance she dies anyways. Yep. But even if she right. doesn't, it's. Uh, I want you to understand that I don't care if she dies. Her dying to me is irrelevant. Okay. It's about getting her out of lane because then she loses all this. It's about. It's about. It's about saying get out of the lane. I could maybe kill you here, and if I don't, it doesn't matter. You should have pushed faster than you did. Right. Right. Okay. Like you should have pushed faster. You didn't push fast enough. I actually don't know. I gotta see it from her position what she did. I'm gonna put myself in Annie's shoes. See how she's not Wing it for no reason. See how and, she's not Wing yeah, it. Just auto. Now watch. Right now, if she wants out of this position, she needs to walk up, W the whole thing, auto the whole time. Watch what she's doing. See that? Yeah. That's her mistake. If I was coaching her, I would have had her blast the wave and crash it. Right. That's, do you see how I'm choosing to make you go all in? Because she's still here. She, like, she should have made a choice. This is why low elo, that's why I say you can farm this, this elo with just ignite anyways. Because people are just places they should never be. Right, like, right yeah. here, she should just be going, oh, Ari's based. Like, where else could she be, right? So, if I'm Annie, I'm just going to walk into the minions and I'm just going to blast the wave as fast as I can. Like, she should be up here in the wave, W it. Auto it, auto it, auto it, W it. And then at the last second, you're going to show up, but she's going to be running, right? That's how it's going to go. But again, takes too long. I say go. Why? She, you could see too, right? Like if she had W'd this and pushed, she would not be here. Yeah. That's right. what you need to learn as a mid is you need to start seeing like, whoa, why did this guy not just shove here? Like he should have just, he should already be gone. The fact he's here with this man, like this is a no-go. So just call him out. You just base. You've got tier two boots. She has nothing. See? Yeah. That's why it's an all in. Okay. Now dying there really sucks because our agency kind of gets stripped. We die. We now lose a wave we should never lose. Yeah. Right? And now Annie gets boots. She gets a mana crystal. She gets a kill. Nocturne's fed. Right? So what you try to do then is... At this point, you're just trying to keep your prio safely. And, and here's another death. Like, you should just flash away. If you see ults come down like this, just, just flash. Right. Now that death, now we're very, now we're coin flipping, basically. Our plays are very uh, dependent on, like, what our teammates are doing, in my opinion. Because in League, you need to stay even or ahead at this elo. Okay. Like, you need to stay even or ahead. Now, obviously, we're not going to just say open mid and give up, right? I don't want to program you that way. That's why we're in this game, and I'm, like, trying to show you where you could have come back, right? But yeah, you really do, like, you need to understand that dying under tower here with the level lead, with the item lead, never should happen. That's, like, the most tragic death that we could have from the position that we're in. Now, going for this pick, this was good. There, I would have ignited it to be safe, but you get the kill anyways. Again, until you learn your lethal really well, I would just ignite. Okay. Now again, I'm just having you crash waves. This could have been okay. No, it's the next play. So you push, you take a plate. Nocturne comes for you. Now here you decide to ult, but Tristana just used her jump, right? So she's autoing you once, mm. but that's not a big deal. So here was okay too. I saw an opportunity, like, in my head. I was like, this is a decent opportunity. Watch. You go for the quick pick, which was good, with your R. Now ignite him right away. Q. And then flash away. Like, flash this way. Yeah. And then you're going to get of your ult charge. Yeah. You're going to get your ult charge, and you're going to live here. And then I'm out. Yeah. Okay. Right?
By the way, this whole like push roaming thing, this is like this is like stock standard. Like you could do this every game pretty much. Right. While you're learning. Now this, I was saying go ahead and try it if you want. When they move forward. Now here, you want to come from this angle. R. R. Here. Okay. Yeah. But I had I think I, I had so, you move think, back on this one. I think that wall's just I think that wall's just barely too thick to R through. This that's where you get in the corner, yeah. Yeah, you have to go on that corner and then go down there. But this I have you target the Soraka? Instead of the Trist. Because the Soraka's gonna heal the Tristana if you let her. Then you could go for the Trist. Again here, yeah. be be ready in your head. Be ready to flash away. Right? R flash quickly. Like get that space. Don't like if you're ever in the shit, dude, immediately just fucking R flash as fast as you possibly can. Because you're letting people really, honor you. I think much. even going into that bush is like a bad idea anyway. Which one? Like, uh, uh, after I oh, back here? to Yeah, to go to, like, that's just a bad play, right? I think it's fine. I think it's fine that's to go. Well, R-ing towards it is needless because you should expect that Tristan is probably going to hop the wall often. The, yeah. the problem is you're going like in the melee range, right? Instead of playing delicate. And again, when Nocturne shows up, you should just be smashing R backwards. Like, just anyway, just go uh -huh. anywhere, any over a wall, just say, fuck yeah. it, I'm out, right? You, you really, yeah. you take way too long to respond with it. As Soon as that guy is on you, just get out. Remember, Ari, people can't be on us at melee. That's illegal. Okay. You just are. Flash, R, whatever you gotta do. You cannot die. You have so much prio in games as long as you're alive and you're in a lane. You understand? Like, the minute that you don't have... Yeah. The minute that you're dead, or that you're so low, you can't threaten auto E. Because, like, the whole mm -hmm. the whole premise... You gotta remember, like, my main champ is Trindamir. I hate Ari. Right? Like, I don't like playing against Ari. The reason why is because every time I go for minions, there's a chance I get e auto W E'd in the face. Every time I spin on Ari's head, she holds the E and waits until she's sure that she hits me with it. Do you see how that's a yeah. problem? So, yeah, yeah. if you're allowing champions like Nocturne to smack the shit out of you in melee range, you really are fucking up. They can auto you once. I mean, hell, he presses R and jumps on you. I get that, right? But when you see anybody on top of you, that is an instant get the fuck out and keep your health high. You can't get poked down like that. Okay, okay. Right? Because what's happening is, is now, even if you're alive, you're useless. You're not, you're not like a Lux, dude. You're not a Xerath. You can't do anything from range anymore, right? That's, that's what it, that's what it boils down to. Your E range is very short. So if you're low, then, yeah, I mean, you, you, you're very scared to ever throw an E anymore. Because now you know that your opponents can just flash on you and auto you once, ignite you, whatever the fuck, right? And then you're dead. So you've got to keep your health high enough. And that's the kiting aspect of it. So it's very simple. You just say, oh, me, you know, me getting meleeed. Bye. I just are away.